I am. I'm in this new realms called Wadi Realms. It's just like, I feel like I'm in a new dimension, a new world. So, good morning and good evening everybody from around the world. This is KL by Zero and welcome to the server. I guess this is a different series from the other YouTube series or the other Minecraft series I'm running which is uh, called New Beginnings which is a mod pack which <laughs> I just started episode 1. But here this is uh, I'm in a Philippine server called What Your Realms and right in front of my face are the rules. Don't need to read that for now. So I actually know what the server is about and this is an RPG server. As you can see this guy has a lot of fancy items. My goodness. What does he have over here? He's very, very strong, I bet. Look at that, he's a rank B. I don't know what my rank is. But usually when you start in the server, you go through this portal here called Beginner's Area. You can also look for quests at Warp Guild. And it's up to you, you can just level up, uh, play the survival, uh, play survival as usual. But uh, I think the server is integrating uh, RPG stuff so you can find unique mobs. So everybody begins here in the beginner's area. Easy, where this is where you can find the easy mobs. Or you can explore around the spawn first. But I will immediately start leveling up by going through this beginner's area. And usually you start with this uh, quest journal. A lot of quest quests are already completed. There are also active quests. It's better to look at this book. Yeah, you can know you already noticed there's already slimes hitting me right now. Actually they're supposed to deal damage, but I think the game decided not to. And of course since I'm level zero, I can take on the slimy one over here. No, maybe not. How much HP does this guy have? Gosh, I have to hit him multiple times. We should try to get this. Over here, this uh, adventurous adventure set. You can see the for your HP you level, as you level up, you actually get more bonus damage. But the, for the HP, you're supposed to get it through armor over here. So we're gonna aim for this. And I believe these slimes drop uh, the the slimy core over here. So we, j we have to kill a few slimes. I think we need a sword to kill fast to kill faster. Oh, oh. What is this? I guess we can start off with some... No wait. Mercenary. I guess this guy... I guess some people put the armor there so that we can have an easy start. But we're gonna get this one. This is a better item because... Get the complete set. You can see there... You can get Grant Strength 1, Speed 1, Regen 1. So right now, we're just gonna take the sword. Warrior's powerful weapon. And get some food. I think we should convert this already to slime core because we're gonna get. Oh no! Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. There. Now we got more health. Let's take this quest. We have to kill, I believe, 16 mad slimy. So we'll just keep. Tough work right now, so level two. That's yeah, a quick level up. It's a bit too OP though, in my opinion. Maybe the experience for level level one slime should be a bit lower. But you easily level up. See that? That's so unfair. Just leave the other couple of elements here. Maybe others would be interested. You should kill those mad slimes, which is higher level. Let's kill angry slime. But we have to kill that uh, these mag slimes for the quest. So let's do that. Four. So we've killed one out of 16, so we're just gonna keep killing. Until we reach our mish our uh, quota. Reach level five, very good. Oh yeah. As I did say earlier, there is a bonus damage. So there's 10 damage. By the way, let me just uh, the scale so you can see better. So you can see there are 10 damage. So every level you gain two bonus damage, so you deal more damage. Okay, so I have I have completed my quest. So let us go back to Luke. There we go. 
got some money. Oh, by the way, you also get money uh, when you kill those uh, RPG mobs. So it's also good to grind for money as well. Okay, so we need to do... We need one more set. Let's go. Adventures Greaves and there it is the set is complete so we get about 600 bonus HP it's great it's awesome let's uh, kill some more slime so that we can get to level 10 I don't think <laughs> I don't think we could uh, take on the boss right now although we should try let's try taking out the boss after we reach level 10 It gets more challenging once you reach uh, like every five or six, every ten levels. Maybe it's every five levels. Exponential increase. Oh, they're so crazy. They're players. What's he doing there? That slime boss is really waiting for people to get him. He, he dares people to to challenge him gonna take a while so let me just keep grinding here for a bit Yeah, I just realized you can you can get a fully damaged uh, warrior sword if you get the slimy core. Uh, there are certain types of weapons who have limit break, so you need to find the book that level so that you can level uh, upgrade the sword that you have. It only works with uh, items that have limit breaks, and you can find that I think in the forge. It's by the staff. It's probably very useful. Let's see how this works. Oh, hello. And I believe there's a 5 second cooldown, yeah. Starting staff to be honest. It only deals, it deals 50 damage. Slime King is the first boss of this uh, RP, of this server. Once you take it down, you're ready to go take other... So you're ready to take more mobs. Alright, we reached level 10. Let's go to spawn first so that we can heal up. And I believe I do have some health pots somewhere. Alright, let's take on the slime boss. That's a lot of damage. Ow. Not really. Not really lots of damage, but it's still hurt. There, I can make him bleed. That's my secret. Empty MMO helps. Oh, he dodged that. That's a good dodge. Come on. I wonder what doubles this slime came here. Oh, gotta heal, gotta heal. Let's go. There we go, I slain the slimy king. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. And I only got, what? 70 XP? Wow. Did I take it again? Yeah, might as well. Can't even kill this guy. Close proximity because he can take me down so quickly. Now he has his own minions. That is so cruel. Oh boy. Very tough. Very, very tough. His staff helps, actually. His staff really helps. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wrong. Wrong one. Yeah. Get wrecked, son. We're almost there. But. One more hit. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, it still gives it still gives 70 XP. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. We got a slimy core. Quickly. Quickly now. Let's get the sword. I prefer more consistent damage than random damage. And it, this doesn't have a swing, so it cannot hit multiple enemies. So let's get this one. Although this one's good because if you upgrade the staff that you currently have get uh, a chance for AoE, but you know what? Let's get the warrior sword first. Let's see if it's gonna be faster to kill him. It'd be nice though, to be really nice. Come on. Yeah, I definitely feel a bit more powerful now. Alright, alright. Okay, that, that didn't deal damage this time. How did that not hit him? Is he a ghost when he hit where he jumps? That's unfair. Oh, this time that's it. Good. Yeah, it's actually fast. You can kill him faster now because he has like 12 bonus damage. That's a good for uh, a good addition. Oh, the bleeding. And he's down for the count. Well done, sir. Although he still gives 70 XP, so I guess the boss XP has not been adjusted lately. Alright, let's get out of here before they try to attack me. So yeah, that's basically the start of the RPG. So you might want to act you might want to follow the quests. So this is the first if this is their first time entering the server, you start with this girl over here. Her name is Beginner's Guide. That's a strange name for an NPC, but you talk to her, and she will guide you uh, all the way to get uh, accustomed to the server. And then you also talk to this loop guy for the daily quest. So once you're done, the cooldown actually lasts 20 hours, so you can't take this again until after 20 hours. So now the rest is up to you. You can actually check out spawn. There's actually uh, uh, several places that you can visit. Let's start first with going to the guild over here. So that's about north northwest of Spawn. So this is the guild. See the guild house. This is where many people request things every day, or you can trade for stuff like this guy, Mr. Bob here. By the way, you should also get watch out for this guy, Ace. This is the. Oh wait, I'm still actually doing quests, but the quests that he gives you here is you have to kill zombies, skeletons, and creepers. You can see, when you talk to these NPCs, look at that, level 60, do you see that? Level 60, and with limit breaking too, so that means this is not the strongest, uh, this sword is not at the strongest, strongest state. This has a limit breaking book where you can upgrade further. So if you want to support the server, you can donate, you can subscribe to, by the way, you can subscribe to these three donate the ranks, VIP, VIP Plus, and Sponsor. And they actually give daily rewards, something like most what most stuff does in certain, some games I played. This girl, Miyuki, she also gives out quests. We're not gonna take them just yet, but they give, they give fabulous rewards, you see, 25, 15. Oh, there's you can see some more stuff. Some su another summon, another trade over here, and Naomi, another quest giver. 
two guys over here. This guy, I believe, asks you to kill the, the end dragon. This guy asks you to get some stuff. And we actually have food. And But in order to make these foods, you need to get recipes. These recipe books here. And you also need to get this important item, which is called the cleaver. So yeah, that's basically the guild. You're gonna visit here a lot. So these guys, you can trade like... There's some more trade, like food and other recipes. Then this salted egg. I think this is also from another quest. I just forgot what that was. And these people here are the staff of... Wadia. Oh yeah, we are now here at the forge. You can also warp by the way. Warp the, warp the forge, warp the guild. And this is where more RPG shenanigans happen. Oh boy, where should I start? Let's start over here at the very end. Limit break books. So, as I did mention before, some items have limit break stuff, some don't. The ones that do have, have books. Better items like the Zanbato, Tesaiga, Brunhilda, you can farm more. And even stronger ones, you get even um, rarer items. Dragon or Seller if you wanna get Dragon Horn, Dragonium, but in order to get this, you have to kill the Ender Dragon. Dragon drops. Now moving on, this is one of the most frequently visited places, the or Orichalcum Refinery. Or the refinery, or Chalcum. This is the reason that Limit Break exists. Usually, the Limit Break bo books require Orichalcum uh, tier 1 to 5 upgrade your item. But you also need to get that Orichalcum, rough Orichalcum or this one. And to get that, you have to go to Hinamoto where there's a guy that can trade you uh, some stuff for that. Or you can use the summons. Now, this area here, oh, before we check on those two, let's go here to the crystal shop. This is usually like a premium play. These uh, coins, I believe it's 25 pesos per crystal coin or 50 cents. You can also get this training session if you want to double your XP, triple your base XP, even times 7 that your base XP, which is good, but for one hour. Which is over here, this guy, this ticket master. So you talk to this guy if you want to change daily coins and vote coins. Summon tickets and this is where the fun begins. This is where they sell one of the most epic uh, epic weapons and items that you can find here. You have a chance to get a power stone too. If you get these items, it's epic. These items are really really like close mid, mid to end game usually. This premium summon over here uh, is where the mother load of all summons come into for the server. This one gives 0.25% chance, so it's like a uh, 25%. Uh, you know what? Let's open. Let's try opening this. And ravages too. Yeah, I kind of expected that because you know these are high chances. Like you get 9995% chance. Uh, you can get more chance with getting the healing potion, but you know what? That's those were only two tickets, so that's a, a demonstration. But here, if you use this one with the 10 plus one, you actually get big, better chances in getting this. Let's see what you got. Yeah, there we go. Rough. Oh, we got a flare blade. That flare blade takes only one percent chance, and yet you got it with just two tickets. That is actually good. Yeah, this guy here, SG member, if you want to get some signs. These are the warps that actually require a minimum level, I think. Wasteland, you need to be level... Well, it suggests a level 30. Do I have access, though? Oh, I do have access, but I don't... That's the... I think I should be able to go here. I mean, there should be a level restriction. So, that's Wasteland. Uh, I believe the boss there is a werewolf. Which I can probably show you once I get stronger in the future episodes. This is where you should go next. So after that beginner over there near spawn, this is the next um, warp that you go to, which is the Hinamoto City. Uh, we'll get to we'll get there in a minute just to show you a bit. And this is the crypt. You have to be at least level 45. 
um, very dangerous. Le this is Leviathan's Labyrinth, which is level 50. This is a very unique uh, warp because you have to swim th through the maze to get to the boss. And this one's not yet open, but it's called the Central Square, or why you City. You have to be at least level 60, I think. I think this is gonna be in the end, but I'm not sure. Let us move on to the uh, City. Let's, I'll just give you a, a, a brief look here before we end the episode here. So the where you can grind is the cove here, where uh, I will show you maybe in the future. I won't spoil it to you yet. And I'll show you a bit here, the bank. I don't know if this guy still used it. I think they disabled this guy, Banker. Ah yeah, here. So this is where you actually rank up to rank B. So if you rank E, you need to vote at least once and then you get a D rank on your certificate. Once you get that, just right click that paper and you automatically rank up to D. Raise here. So basically that's the gist of it. Gave you a little uh, showcase of the, how to grind. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is where you get the original gold ore. So trade in cobblestone, stones, the stones here. Or you can also use ores to do that. That's it about guys. That is the introductory episode of Wydea Realms. Yeah, that's it. Survival RPG. Okay guys, that's it for today. And I do hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Have a good night. Take care, everybody.